Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Stephen Tersini on the line, and he's a vision correction surgeon over at Brinton Vision. Stephen, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me on, Adam. All right, so uh, excited to get into a little bit more about what you're doing as a correction surgeon. Um, but before we do that, let's get a little bit further into Brinton Vision. So tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Yeah, so Brinton Vision, uh, you know, we are a, a full-spectrum vision correction, uh, you know, vision correction specialty clinic uh, in St. Louis, Missouri. What that means is, you know, we focused on what's called refractive surgery. Um, it's just the, the fancy term for vision correction surgery. You know, that includes LASIK, not just LASIK, but there's a whole kind of spe- spectrum of procedures that are available and approved these days to correct people's vision, you know, similar to the way LASIK does. Um, mm-hmm. And so, you know, we we uh, focus, you know, on basically what the what the procedure is best for the patient uh, based on their age. And their the shape of their eye and their prescription and it's really catered and focused you know around exactly what they need and what the best fit for them is and pr- make sure we provide that to the patient and so we that's kind of our our goal and our mission is to uh, you know be the, the provider that really um, you can go to 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 have all of the options available to you uh, that are that we have these days. All right, Stephen. So, um, so here goes my confession. I wanted you on the show because I need some consultation. Now, I'm one of those people that have wanted to get, you know, LASIK or some type of procedure done for many years, and I have that okay. minor stigmatism slash football eye, very small. My, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my uh, prescription has not changed in I don't know over ten years, so it's kind of stabilized. They say um, so. My question for you is, you know, trends in the industry overall. I guess in my mind, the reason I've been putting it off is because I'm like, as soon as I get it, they're going to come out with something better. Um, what are your thoughts on that, on, on my nonsensical approach to it? Because <laughs> not, obviously yeah. not being not being qualified. <laughs> yeah, that I, I get where you come from. That's a concern that a lot of patients have, um, you know, but there, it's never been a better time to have vision, vision correction surgery. You know, for a patient who, for whom it's a, you know, you're a good candidate and it'd be a safe uh, option for you, you know, there are so many options you have these days uh, where, you know, we can feel very confident that you can have uh, good, uh, you know, long-lasting vision. And I, there's no, nothing on the horizon where I would, a patient would come in and I'd say, you know what? Uh, this thing, that, you know, this other technology is just about to get approved. You know, the technology we have is so, so good these days, you know, and things do get better all the time. Um, but there's this, the technology that we have today is so good that it's, it's not at the point where I, where I would feel like I would be doing the patient a disservice by saying, oh, yeah, do this now. Uh, but, you know, and, and in the back of my mind thinking, oh, but uh, if they were to wait a little bit, they would, they could mm-hmm. get something so much better. It's just, the technology is so good, and, and yeah, technology continues to get better, but it's the the changes are so incremental and small right now that um, it's you would not be doing yourself as a service to to look into it and make you know you'd want to make sure you're a good candidate and it's safe and it's mm-hmm. the right thing for you. But um, as long as you were, um, I I I wouldn't hold back just because you think maybe things would get better down the road. Yeah, again, it's totally, I'm probably just making excuses, to be honest, but I uh, had, had, to, had to throw that one out there for you. Um, so let's talk a little bit more about, and again, not not asking you to give medical advice, and I know each patient is has, has their own thing, and they have to do their own checkup and other things like that, but who are typically, like, so some of the people listening right now, they're curious, like they've heard about it, they're tired of wearing contacts, they're tired of glasses, and they maybe, and obviously have to go to their, their local person and see what, and see if they're a right candidate, but what are some of the the, um, some of the things that somebody should think about to where they might be a good fit for um, for a corrective procedure. Yeah, so there are a lot of things that we that we think about. Um, you know, age is one of them. In folks who are kind of over forty uh, and uh, thinking about vision correction and started to need you know 
reading glasses or bifocals, you know, sometime in your 40s, that's what kind of the point that everybody gets to usually. Um, mm-hmm. There's there's always some trade-offs that we have to consider then because your eye is changing and going through an aging process. And so we, we always, you know, talk about those considerations with patients. You know, there are uh, risks with any procedures, but there are also risks of wearing contacts, the risks of driving down the road. Uh, mm-hmm. on your free way to work. And so you have to be comfortable with the risks. The nice thing is that these days, you know, LASIK and vision correction procedures have become some of the safest procedures performed in the world. Um, so, you know, the risk of complications are very low. Uh, but if someone is extremely risk averse, you know, that might be a reason for that person to not, uh, you know, maybe not have something done. But um, this, it, it's good to know that this is you know, understand that it's not it's not magic that we're doing. It is a procedure, it is surgery, but um, it's safe. But that's another consideration to think about. And a lot of the other things, you know, are very patient to patient. Um, mm-hmm. You know, certain certain abnormalities your eye may have that maybe you weren't aware of. Um, a lot of people come to us and you know they say, hey, I want LASIK, uh, but we look at their scans and everything and say, you know what, LASIK probably isn't the best option for you. Maybe it wouldn't give you the best quality of vision or it wouldn't be safe long term, but hey, there's this, these two other options you have um, that would be great for you. Give you, We think it would give you great vision, stable long term, uh, you know, good for the overall health of your eyes. And so it's important to get a, you know, a, a full evaluation from, you know, I I think the best evaluation always comes from a surgeon who will be doing the procedure. Um, they know, you know, they're the ones that are doing it day in and day out and see the patients over the long term um, and know kind of just by experience what's, what's best for each patient's unique, unique mm-hmm. eye and physical circumstances. And so um, getting that full evaluation and, and understanding that they're, you know, you may be surprised about what your options might be. It might be something maybe you haven't heard of before. Um, but the, knowing that at least, and I'm sure with most surgeons, but at least at Britain Vision, we're going to be uh, looking out for your, your best interests and um, want to make sure we're doing the safest thing for you and, you know, the best thing for your vision long term for a lifetime. You're, you're going to have your eyes and your vision for a lifetime. We want to kind of put together a plan uh, that helps you have your, you know, best vision for the rest of your life. Let's talk a little bit more about lenses and, and lens technology, specifically like in contacts and other things like that. So any anything interesting in that space um, that you're that you're kind of seeing? So, you know, a lot of the procedures we do are to get people out of contact lenses. Uh, you know, contact lenses are they work really well. You know, they're they're safe. Um, they're not they're kind of outside of the spectrum of things that we Kind of prescribe and, and deal with for the most part. You know, in terms of talking about lenses, though, there are a couple different um, vision correction options that we have that involve lenses. They're not lenses oh. that go on the surface of your eye. They're lens implants, actually, um, that correct the vision from the inside. Um, one of them is re- refractive lens exchange. It's similar in a lot of its technical aspects to like a cataract surgery, where we replace mm-hmm. that internal lens in your eye with a, another lens that's that you know, focus of, focuses the light better to, uh, you know, correct your prescription. Um, and also there's a technology called there fake uh, intraocular lenses, or one of them is called the ICL, or implantable column lens, or implantable contact lens. It's basically a lens that gets inserted underneath the surface of your eye uh, that corrects the prescription from the inside. Um, so those are some some of the technologies uh, that, that we have and we use uh, fairly frequently to help pe- correct people's vision. Wow, that's amazing! I love it. This is it's good. I mean, because like ultimately, um, and and for people that I'm correct me if I'm wrong. So for some people that, um, as you mentioned, so somebody may come in thinking that LASIK's the, like the route, and then it may be completely different, and they may not have understood or knew that this lens technology um, existed. But it just opens up the pool of people that are able to benefit from um, really corrective surgery in general. Am I off on that, or am I kind of correct? No, that, that's exactly right. Now, there are plenty of people who come to us and, you know, who come to us and have been told at other places that maybe that other place will just, just does LASIK. You know, come mm-hmm. to us and say, hey, I was told I couldn't have LASIK and that you have all these other options. And, you know, oftentimes we're able to tell them, yeah, we have this option. I think it would work well for you. And we correct their uh, their vision and they, they are able to live their life for, free, you know, free from glasses and contacts. Man, that's awesome. I love it. Uh, so, Stephen, if somebody's listening to this 
and they want more information on uh, Brinton Vision, I mean, what's the best way for them to reach out and to learn more? Yeah, so one way, you know, that you can, one way that's really easy is just to, to go to our website, brentonvision.com. Uh, you know, there's a whole lot of information about all the vision correction options we we offer for patients. Um, you know, from LASIK to ICL to refractive lens exchange, uh, just all the different things. If you're just kind of curious about what there is these days, um, we we you can also call us. Uh, we, our phone number, uh, you know, is is three one four three seven five twenty twenty. You know, those are probably the best two ways to get in contact with us. You can also email us at info at brainvision.com. Uh, we always have folks who are uh, very responsive at you know, answering phone calls or emails, and we'll, we try to get back to you usually within the, the same day. Awesome. Well, hey, Stephen, really appreciate you coming on the show today and uh, sharing more about your background and all the great stuff you're doing over at Brenton Vision to help people um, correct their eyesight. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave a review on the FY iTunes store. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Money, uh, definitely give us a uh, subscribe there, but also uh, leave us some comments on the video. Love to know what kind of things you're working on. And uh, Stephen, thanks again for coming on the show.